You got it. All right, continuing on uh, at uh, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 7. He was a get. He opened not his mouth. Oh, 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 Slaki, what was that? Oh, no. I, I had to repeat the scripture because the, the uh, your, um, your voice was kind of breaking up on the video. So, you know, br brothers can know where, where you were at. So uh, I, okay. I, I reiterated the scripture that you was about to read. But yeah, you, you got it. All right. Uh, continuing on. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, as a sheep before her. Share, share, sharers, shearers. Is, shearers is dumped. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For he well, it's like for the transgressions of my people was he stricken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, them, 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 them stripes, the, those whippings, yeah, how shall I receive, you know? Okay. And, huh. so, so, you know, like uh, all the hell that you, how I went through and going up on that cross, you know, that that was so, you know, we, we could be given another chance, man. And that, that chance is now, you know, coming back to the Heavenly Father, acknowledging you're an Israelite, man, and keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, while also keeping the faith and the fear uh, uh, of, uh, of Yahweh while Yahweh shy, man. You know, fearing the Most High and His Son. That's right. You got it, bro. Uh, uh, verse 9. And he made his like, and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any decent deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He have put him to grief when Thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. Yeah, it's talking about when Yahweh Shah became that sacrificial lamb. You got it, bro. Uh, he shall see his seed and it's like it. He shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be sanctified by his knowledge shall my righteous for he shall bear their iniquities Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great and the strong his soul unto death. And he was numbered the sins of many and made intercessions for the transgressors. Right. You know, so that that's pretty much all there is in that. Uh, yeah. Now I'm a I'm gonna continue on back in uh, Matthew's 26, and I last left off at 50 at, at 56. 
So Matthew 26, verse 56. It says, but all this was done with the scriptures of the prophets, my, uh, with, the, with that, that the, uh, but all this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. You know, so, you know, I last left off there on 56 and we, uh, the brother just read Isaiah 53 to, uh, to basically show you what, what that was talking about. So, so this, 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 um, uh, this right here, you know, basically Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he's about to fulfill Isaiah, the 53rd chapter. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. Okay. So, you know, you know, Yahweh Shai's disciples forsook him and fled, man. You know, they basically ran. It says, and they that had laid hold on Yahweh Shai led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were, were assembled. But Peter followed him uh, afar off unto the high priest's palace and went in and, and sat with the servants to, to, to see the end. Now the chief priests and elders and all the council sought false witness against Yahweh to put him to death. And, and, and you know what? That that's what's going to happen to uh, certain brothers. That that's going to be martyrs for Yahweh Shai, because you know the, these are so-called elites. They're they're devils. You know they're nothing but 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 uh, barbitual liars. You know Esau's going to come up with some kind of lie. Like like right now they're already trying trying to uh, they're already trying to put ties with us with ISIS. You know oh yeah the, these guys might be ISIS. You know you no know, they're they're chanting death to America. You know that this religious group is dangerous. They 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 hate Americans, you know. So so right there, they're already they're they're already trying to lie on us, you know. No, any, any kind of yeah. justification that to, to ha have us put to death, man. But like the Lord said, man, there's there's some standing here which shall not taste the death. That's okay. right. So so That's hey right. hey, they can call us whatever, man. You know, furthermore, we're not ISIS. We hate ISIS. Okay, we hate ISIS, and guess what? Anybody that is a heathen in ISIS is going to be our slave in a fucking. Uh, it's going to be our slave in the kingdom, man. Okay, so hey, hey death. Right. Okay, we don't care about ISIS. Right. So, um, verse sixty, it says, "But found, but found none. Yea, though many false witnesses came, yet found they none." At, at the last came two false witnesses and said, this fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of Yahweh and to build it in three days. And, and the high priest arose and said unto him, Ans answerest thou nothing? What is it uh, which these witnesses against these? But Yahweh Shai held his peace and the high priest answered him, well, and the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure thee, by the living power that thou tell us whether thou be the anointed, the son of the most high. Yahweh shall I say unto him, thou hast said, thou hast said, nevertheless, I say unto you, hereafter shall ye see the son of man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes, saying, he have spoken blasphemy, you know, which Yahweh Shah was telling the truth, man. Okay. Uh, need have we of witnesses. Behold, now ye have heard his blasphemy. What think ye? They answered and said, he is guilty of death. Then did they spit in his face and, and buffeted him and others smote, smote him with the palm, palms of their hands. Saying, prophesy unto us, thou anointed, who is he that smote thee? Now Peter sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him, saying, uh, Thou also was with Yahweh of Galilee. But he denied before them all, saying, I know not what thou sayest. And, and when he was gone out uh, into the porch, another maid saw him and said unto them that were there, This fellow was also with Yahweh of Nazareth. And again, he denied with an oath. I do not know the man. So did this man deny with an oath? And when you make an oath, that's a serious thing, man. Okay? That's right. An oath is not something to, to take lightly. 
And after a while came unto him, they that stood by and said to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thy speech uh, be, be, be rayeth thee. Then began he to curse and to swear, saying, I know not the man. And immediately the cock crew. And, P and Peter remembered the word of Yehoshai, which said unto him, Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. And he went out and wept bitterly. So, you know, that was pretty much it on that part.